my kids brought me some toys that have got corroded battery terminals in it and so I just thought I'd take a second and show you how to clean these now there's two different kinds this is these are from alkaline batteries so you're gonna have to clean these with acid and then this one is actually off of a uh, lead acid battery and so this one will need to be cleaned with a, a base like baking soda so let me just start with these and so I'm just gonna use this is a little cup it's got a little bit of uh, white vinegar in it and I'm just gonna take that white vinegar and then when I get when I get through cleaning it I'm gonna show you how you can protect them to kind of keep this from happening again I mean if a battery explodes in there it's pretty much gonna do this regardless but uh, what happens is when see it see it bubbling what happens is when this happens it eats off the plating on the terminal and so it's gonna corrode if you don't protect it in some way now this one's easy because it's it's bumped out like that so I can actually take a little piece of steel wool or um, or uh, sandpaper and I can clean that corrosion off of there really easy there's some down in there though luckily they're not dirty but if they were I'll be cleaning with a q-tip kind of the same way so now I've put acid on here and I don't want to leave it I don't want to leave that acid there so what I'm going to do is so I've taken a q-tip I just put a little water on it and now I've got some baking soda and I'm just going to take that and I'm going to use that to neutralize this acid so that it doesn't continue to eat away at my metal here and I'll take this and just sort of rinse that off okay so now I've gotten basically all the chemicals off of there that are our problem I'm gonna dry that with a paper towel so now I'm just gonna take this is a stick that I've glued some sandpaper to an emery board works really good for this okay you see now I'm down to some bright brass right there okay so that terminal is nice and clean now it's been uh, neutralized but I need to put some something on it to protect it and so I'm going to use this it's battery terminal protector it's made for spraying on a car so I'm just going to spray a little bit of it in a cup and then I'm going to take a q-tip and then just paint that over the top you can also use silicone spray or some Vaseline or something like that if you would prefer I want to leave a coating of that okay and that one's clean now let's do one a little bit more difficult now any of these you're better off if you can take them this one's got part with the spring side over here and the problem is to clean that I'm gonna to have to put a little acid on it and I really don't want it to run down into the toy but I can't really take this one apart I mean I could but so you just kind of soak it with that you can also you know get an old toothbrush after it this one's really not that bad okay so I'm pretty happy with that now it's nice and clean so now I just want to neutralize it again get my q-tip with a little water on it get a little baking soda on it and then just sort of paint that on a little more water because I want it to kind of run a little bit baking soda is not very caustic so all right then clean what I can out of there all right and then again I'm gonna put some of this terminal protection on there
All right, now that's that was the alkaline one, so that's got that taken care of. Now, to clean ones that, um, like this terminal right here, this is actually, you know, like I said, a uh, from an acid battery. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna take a toothbrush, and I'm gonna take some baking soda. You can see it's fizzing. Come to think of it, it'd probably be a good idea to wear gloves while you do this. I mean, it is just vinegar and baking soda, but. All right, so that's got it pretty clean. You can see, you wanna get all that green stuff off of there. I got a little bit right there I want to get out. All right, there we go. All right, so then we're just going to this one. I'm just going to spray it. And that's the way you would handle one on your car. You would clean it with baking soda and then spray it down with something like this to uh, protect it. And I'll try to remember to put this in the description of the video for you um, so you can find it. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.